Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a horror thriller film, Glorious. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie begins with a man named Wes trying to fight off his drowsiness while driving along the highway. He has been spending some time alone to deal with his grief following the breakup with his girlfriend, Brenda. While driving, Wes decides to park his car at a rest stop. He's about to get off when he sees a creepy woman sitting at the table and staring at him. However, Wes pretends to act normal and gets out of the car because of hunger. He then goes to the nearby vending machine, hoping to purchase the last remaining chocolate treat. But Wes gets frustrated when the candy doesn't come out. Meanwhile, the woman hears Wes frustrated yells and approaches him. She then asks for a penny to get the sweet treat for him. Despite hesitating, Wes gives the woman a coin and watches her easily take out the chocolate bar. The woman walks out afterward when she suddenly notices the things in the back seat of Wes' car. Because of that, the woman reminds Wes to clean it off if he is going to make a living on the road. Wes is taken aback by the lady's assessment, but he only gives her a nod and waits until she leaves him alone. After a strange encounter with the woman, Wes returns to his car and begins reminiscing again about Brenda. He is so upset thinking of how things ended with her to the extent that he screams out of displeasure. Wes then calms himself afterward. He tries to breathe fresh air outside when the thought of talking to Brenda suddenly pushes him to get his phone from his pocket. Feeling desperate, Wes contacts Brenda in an attempt to fix their relationship. But then, the phone eventually gets out of battery. In a fit of rage, he throws his phone to the ground. Upon realizing he needs his phone, Wes immediately picks it up, only to discover that the screen is cracked. Because of that, Wes thinks of something to remove Brenda from his thoughts, when suddenly he realizes there is still a bottle of wine in his car. Wes quickly drinks it and plays some music. While drinking, Wes notices a fire pit nearby. This causes him to pull out all of Brenda's clothes in his car and burn them. Wes then spends his time drinking and enjoying the music all night long. However, he suddenly stops when he sees the red box on the table containing Polaroid pictures of his previous girlfriends. So Wes also burns them, excluding Brenda's photo. Afterward, the drunk Wes takes the last sip of the bottle of wine and passes out. The following day, Wes awakens feeling hungover and stumbles into the empty restroom to throw up. As he vomits, an unknown voice suddenly echoes inside, asking about his condition. Wes immediately finds where the voice is coming from, only to discover that it comes from the man in the stall next to him. The man then starts up a conversation with Wes. He asks if Wes is recovering from intoxication, to which Wes answers affirmatively. Amid their conversation, Wes suddenly brushes his face with his dirty hands, making him feel annoyed. He tries cleaning it with tissue, but there is no stock in the toilet paper dispenser. So Wes emerges from the cubicle to search for tissues on the sink, only to discover that the bathroom has not been cleaned in ages. He then attempts to turn on water, but to his surprise, the water starts to trickle out. Wes washes his face and gets a drink right away. Meanwhile, the unseen man in the stall keeps talking to Wes while busy cleaning his face. Then as soon as Wes is done, the unseen man begins asking his name. Then Wes peeks over the stall door and formally introduces himself. Due to that, the unseen man demands Wes to return to the stall if he wants to continue their discussion. Wes politely refuses the unseen man's request. He then tells the unseen man that he does not engage himself in talking to a random man hiding out in bathroom stalls. So the unseen man explains that he has no choice but to spend considerable time there, because that is where he finds himself, and some things are beyond his control. Wiz rushes to leave the toilet as the conversation turns uncomfortable, but he suddenly realizes he forgot to bring Brenda's picture with him. Panicked, Wes starts looking for it immediately, while the unseen man asks if Wes wants to know his name. Because of that, Wes answers affirmatively while searching for Brenda's picture. However, the unseen man gives Wes two peculiar requests before he tells his name. First, stick out his tongue, then gently grab its tip between his first finger and thumb. And second, repeat what the unseen man says while Wes makes the first request. Wes follows the unseen man's demand immediately. He then speaks the word and learns that his name is Gatanatho. Wes suddenly feels confused about Gatanatho's name. So Gatanatho says its name derives from a lonely and elderly god. Gadanotho also admits that he is not a man, but a demigod created by a primordial god who accidentally created the universe, including humanity. However, Wes doesn't believe the so-called demigod's smelly bullshit, yet Wes still entertains him while he continues searching for Brenda's photo. Eventually, Wes finds Brenda's photo at the back of the toilet, but upon taking it, Wes suddenly attempts to peek through the stall's glory hole to see Gadanotho. 
Gadanotho becomes angry and warns Wes not to do it again, as glimpsing Gadanotho's true form would destroy Wes. But despite Gadanotho's caution, Wes still proceeds to peek at him like a peeping Tom. Because of that, Gadanotho exerts its power and punishes Wes by giving him visions of Brenda. Afterward, Wes eventually awakens and blames Gatanotho for putting some drugs on him. He then opens the door and tries to leave, only to realize that the door is sealed shut. On the other hand, Gatanotho reveals that Wes is not allowed to leave the restroom until they are done with their conversation. But Wes only ignores Gatanotho and finds a window. Wes quickly steps his feet into the toilet bowl to reach the window and shouts for help. But Gadanotho immediately releases a layer of protection outside, so Gadanotho's father will not see them from the restroom. Gadanotho explains that Wes only feels agitated after seeing Brenda and that he needs to calm down. However, Wes doesn't listen to Gadanotho and tells himself he is only in a dream. Enraged, Gadanotho raises its voice to Wes to silence him. This causes Wes to shut off his mouth and listen to him. Afterward, Gatanotho continues explaining and says that Wes can't escape, for it is a fate for him to be driven into the restroom and be a sacrifice to save the universe. As Gatanotho talks, Wes suddenly discovers an air vent under the sink. Wes quickly roses up from his seat to open it, while he lets Gatanotho talk. Once he opens it, Wes attempts another escape and crawls through the air vents, which only leads him back to the restroom. Because of that, Wes desperately asks Gatanotho what he can do to get out. Gatanotho then reveals that its power is weakening, further exposing its location to its father. Apparently, Gatanotho was created by its father as a tool, so as to destroy humanity. Wes suddenly feels distressed upon hearing Gatanotho's revelation, wherein he discovers that he needs to do Gatanotho a favor. However, Wes refuses to help Gatanotho and forces himself to think of the past with Brenda to escape from Gatanotho. This causes Gatanotho to feel frustrated, as Wes keeps hiding from his memories. Gatanotho then pleads with Wes to keep his mind in the present, but Wes is stubborn. When Wes attempts to have another vision to see Brenda, Gatanotho has no choice but to give Wes a deafening silence until his ears bleed. Afterward, Gatanotho uses the chance to elaborate on how its father conceived it as a weapon to wipe out the human race. Gatanotho could have continued to do this, but its older siblings locked their father away. But now, Gatanotho's father is free and flees away, while Gatanotho, who has grown fond of humanity, has gone into hiding to prevent being used to destroy the universe. He then reveals that its ability to hide from its father is weakening. So, to remain hidden indefinitely, Gatanotho explains to Wes that it must pass into the ethereal realm, but only if a mortal satisfies its physical form. He also says that it can only be accomplished through the glory hole. Apparently, Gatanotho relies on Wes because he is the only person capable of restoring Gatanotho's ethereal form. Meanwhile, a rest stop supervisor, Gary, suddenly arrives. He is on duty to check and clean up the area when suddenly he hears Wes's screams from the restroom. Due to that, Gary walks toward where Wes is and opens the door. Gary enters inside and asks Wes what has happened to the hormone smelly restroom. But instead of answering Gary, Wes asks for a crowbar to open the door because it automatically closes when he enters. So Gary immediately checks it and confirms it is locked. Gary then asks Wes who is responsible for locking them inside when suddenly Gatanotho talks and admits itself. Because of that, Gary immediately takes out his phone to call the police. Wes tries to stop Gary and convinces him that he only needs to talk to Gatanotho for them to get out. However, Gatanotho believes that Gary may tell someone once he escapes from the restroom, so technically, he can't let Gary out. Wes has no choice but to obey Gatanotho's order and enter the stall as Gatanotho devours Gary and his smelly part. Afterward, Wes comes out to check on Gary, only to discover his body parts scattered throughout the room, with blood dripping down the walls and floor. Distressed, Wes finally accepts Gatanotho's favor to satisfy his physical form and inserts his hormone gun into the glory hole to save humanity. However, after seeing what Wes did, Gatanotho gets shocked and repulsed by its ugly look and strong smell. He clarifies that satisfaction means it needs Wes to offer it a piece of his liver, not his genitals. Wes looks in disbelief as Gatanotho hands him a piece of broken glass to cut and give his liver. Wes is taken aback and abruptly changes his mind. He explains to Gatanotho that donating his liver would be suicidal. So Gatanotho pleads with Wes to help it and expresses sympathy for his fate. He also argues that human life is valuable and should be extended, causing Wes to be convinced by his reason. But before Wes does it, he tells his story first. 
Wes counters his experiences with his abusive father and how he never felt anything for anyone except Brenda. As Wes talks, he eventually feels the stress that causes him to break down and screams for Gadanotho's father to find them. Wes begins shouting at Gadanotho's father, causing the restroom to start crumbling away as Gadanotho's father tears through reality. Due to that, the pissed Gadanotho reveals to Wes that its father has found them because of him. Wes immediately crawls toward his stall as Gadanotho's father tries to take him out of the restroom. Upon realizing that Gatanotho can no longer protect him and the humans, Wes suddenly thinks of a tough decision whether to sacrifice himself or not. On the other hand, the desperate Gatanotho removes Wes's memories of Brenda to show him what universal annihilation will mean. This causes Wes to relent and beg to see Brenda again in exchange for doing the deed. Gatanotho then grants Wes's wish and restores his memories with Brenda. Afterward, Wes begins cutting a hole in his abdomen as Gatanotho's father is nearly approaching. He shouts in excruciating pain as he cuts off his belly. While doing this, it reveals Wes's thoughts that Brenda discovered a box containing images of women Wes had slain, prompting him to kill her and regretfully depart in his car. The movie ends with Wes giving in to Gatanotho's demand for his liver so that it can escape into the other and destroy its father. With his sacrifice, humanity is restored and the danger is neutralized. Wes then sighs in relief as he convinces himself he is a hero since he saved the universe. But Gatanotho insists that he is no hero and that they should both be forgotten as entities of devastation. Following this, Gatanotho departs the Earth, while Wes painfully exits the restroom, where he tragically passes away. This Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.